Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the second day of my week featuring Penny Black stamps. Today I will be using this beautiful floral stamp from a stamp set which is called All A Bloom and I am going to stamp it with archival ink, black archival ink on uh, white uh, watercolor paper. I am planning to use my distress markers to color my image and that's why I need to use a permanent ink so it doesn't smudge while I am doing my blending. I did not get a perfect stamp impression because this is a textured watercolor paper but I am quickly going to apply some black uh, embossing powder and heat set it with my tool. This is going to raise, uh, to give a nice raised effect on my image and also it's uh, slightly shiny. Now this is a quick um, way to do your background and it's going to look like watercolor. I am just using uh, broken china with my blending tool and applying some uh, blue ink around my flower. I don't uh, really mind if uh, I go over the flower since I am going to be using my distress uh, markers to color over the main image later on. I'm going to bring in some um, vintage photo from uh, the other corner towards the center and uh, blend both colors for my background. Now just to make the background more interesting I am using this text stamp and I am stamping again with uh, my vintage photo ink pad just to add a little bit of uh, texture on my background. Now it's time to color the flowers and the leaves. I am starting with my leaves and I'm using my distress markers. And the first one I am using for the leaves is the shabby shutters. I'm not doing any shading, I'm just using my marker to apply a first uh, layer of color on every leaf. Once uh, all the leaves are uh, green, then I will go ahead and do uh, just a little bit of uh, shading using my forest moss uh, distress marker. All I do is touch the tip of uh, my darker marker at the base of each leaf and then with my clear wing of Stella glitter pen, I'm blending uh, the darker color towards the center of the leaf. Another way to do this technique with exactly the same uh, results is if you apply a little bit of uh, your forest moss on uh, an acrylic block and then pick it up with your uh, clear wing of Stella glitter pen. Now this is not going to uh, ruin your uh, a wink of Stella glitter pen. This is a brush tip and you can always wipe uh, the color off on uh, a piece of paper. For the roses I am going to use spiced marmalade as my base color. So all I am doing now is just applying uh, a base color on uh, the leaves. No shading, nothing at all, just covering the whole area. And then I am going to do the exact same technique I did for uh, my leaves. But this time I will be using a rusty hinge as my darker color. Now, as always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area, as well as on my blog. And also, don't forget to like the Facebook page of Penny Black and let them know that I have sent you there for a chance to win $25 shopping spree on their online store. And this is where I am adding my shadows. I'm using my darker color to go around each petal and add the, sh the shadows. And uh, then all that's left to do is to add uh, my blending with my clear wing of Stella glitter pen. Now you can see that it already looks dimensional. But I am going to show you another uh, uh, great tip for uh, bringing it even more to life and make uh, your roses pop. Now after blending each petal, which is what I am doing uh, here, I am going to add some highlights and I will be doing the highlights again with my Wink of Stella glitter pen. Now I am going again and again on the same area and uh, this helps me lift up a little bit of uh, the um, Distress uh, ink. So this creates instant highlights and makes it uh, pop even more. To finish it off, I am going to uh, use my blending tool and uh, bring in some uh, vintage photo around uh, the edges. And um, this is where I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more highlighting on uh, my petals. So I'm using my uh, white gel pen and I'm just touching uh, the, uh, the tip. I'm not adding too much. I just want to make those highlights pop uh, just a little bit more. So once I'm happy with my rows, I have used uh, my ribbon to tie a bow at uh, the very top of my panel. 
and I am going to add some uh, crystals scattered around my panel. Now, just to embellish uh, my panel just a little bit more, I am stamping uh, this butterfly, which is uh, from the same stamp set. And I'm also stamping this with black ink on uh, top of the panel. And just because I want a dimensional look, I am planning to pop uh, this uh, butterfly with uh, foam squares. And that's why I have stamped it on a different piece of paper. Now I'm coloring it with uh, my distress markers again. My first color is mustard seed and I am doing my blending technique with uh, my Wink of Stella glitter pen again using uh, spiced marmalade. Once I am happy with uh, the coloring and the blending, I am going to use my scissors and cut out the butterfly. Now you won't be able to see this butterfly that I'm coloring at the moment only from the sides because I'm going to pop up the yellow butterfly on top with foam squares. But uh, just so it's not uh, totally blank, I just added a little bit of uh, color there as a shadow. Now I'm using this die that cuts out uh, those uh, fishtail banners and I am going to stamp the sentiment from the same uh, uh, stamp set that says lots of love. Just because it's uh, kind of um, big, I decided to mask off all those uh, swirls just to make sure that uh, the stamp uh, fits nicely inside that banner. So I have stamped uh, lots of love and uh, I am going to color both those uh, banners with my uh, blending tool and my marker. I am coloring one of the banners with my spiced marmalade marker and uh, the other one with my distressing that's a vintage photo. Now this is going to make sure that both those banners match perfectly my panel because they have colors that um, I already introduced there. I am going to nest one on top of the other and I'm going to place them uh, under that bow. To secure everything I'm going to use glue dots. For my card base I have used cream cardstock and my card base is a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am using foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to secure it on top of my card base. I am not placing it uh, totally straight and I am also going to add one of those metal clips on top just to add a little bit of uh, interest. I am going to secure this clip with a foam square and my card is finished. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more cards for Valentine's Day that I created a while back using again Penny Black products. Thank you all for watching!